Hey guys, I completely revamped my YouTube companion app. I renamed it to TubeClout. It sounds more snappy and catchy in my opinion. I also named it that because I'm actually getting clout from it. That just proves the app really works. Okay, let's dive right in. This is new, but before I get into that, let's look at the other menus. The video analyzer has a completely new look to it and some new features. Let's say I want to take this video and extract some information from it. Just copy the URL and put it into this input field. After it analyzes the URL, boom! You get tags of the video and the channel that published the video. That's what this tag scope does. It changes what tags you're looking at. So there's video and channel tags now. You can see who published a video and if it's family friendly. You can view it if you want. And maybe you want to see the relevance of this channel. Just press the pink button that says analyze and voila! Google Trends coming in clutch! Woo! Why not use a service that is already trustworthy and ground it in experience than make a new one? Technically, this is outside of my app, but it's still extremely useful and a 100% trusted source to get your data. I wouldn't be trying to make my own if someone else has already done the work. Okay. Now tag hunt. You can search a specific topic and it used to only give you tags. So let's search Minecraft. The search is around 20 times faster than previously because I can fetch all the videos at once. We will get the most popular tags in Minecraft and a whole list of thumbnails of videos that popped up. The idea is that the thumbnails can be an inspiration for when you start making your thumbnails for your videos. You will be able to download these thumbnails. I don't know why you want that. Hey, someone suggested that. And you can guess what the pink analyze button does. It will take you to Google Trends and search for this topic. Okay, now for the fun stuff. I programmed a new canvas feature where you get to import images and text to make your banners, thumbnails, and avatars. All of these have the same functionality. The only difference is that the banner and the avatar canvas has their own safe areas. Because in reality, you wouldn't be able to see the entire profile picture, or maybe you wouldn't be able to see this part of a banner on certain devices, etc. Okay, so I'm going to make a thumbnail for this video using my own app only. You've already seen it, I'll show you how I did it. You can import images, apply coloring, filters, and blending to it. I think I spent the most time working with the filters. It's the most complex so far. You can also create text. There's a bunch of parameters to style the text and many different fonts to choose from. You can also apply filters and effects to it, but I won't do that right now. We also have layers. Three layers to work with, and there's an export feature to save the final result to your device or share it with other people. Do whatever. Anyways, that's pretty much all of what the canvas editor can do. I'll most likely add more features on it. Remember, it's still a beta because I know there can be some quirks here and there, but it gets the idea through and it's 100% usable. Okay, let's start the time lapse. Enjoy! Enjoy. Oh my gosh, she's flying out. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Okay, I'm having too much fun. Uh, um.
That's all for the video. If you want to try out my app for yourself, you can use it for free using Hyperpad Viewer or Hyperpad. There's no difference between those when it comes to playing projects. If you want to see some more stuff from me, feel free to subscribe. You can comment what you want to see. Constructive criticism is always appreciated. Well, that's all I have to say.